okay here we need to find the value of Vs and Ix is given as 2 amps and also the power dissipated or absorbed by Vs and this current source so what is the power by uh, I5A I guess I5 amps that we need to find so in order to do that we will start first start with applying KCL at this node uh, we can see that this is a current source so 5 amps is going inwards there and then Ix is going outwards and 2 Ix is going there 2 Ix so if we just label the current I don't know maybe in that direction so that will be I 10 let's say let's call that so that is I will just write uh, sum of ent the current entering as positive and leaving as negative so I 10 will be leaving negative then I X here is leaving this I X is leaving uh, 2 I X is also leaving and then 5 amps is entering so sum of that is 0 that's how I have written it so I will get I 10 which we need to find to be 5 minus 3 I X sorry 5 minus 3 I X there is a lowercase i, I have written uppercase i, uh, there, yeah, it should be, let's make them all uppercase i, dc, and this is also i10, it's easy, so, 5 minus 3 into 2, because ix is 2, and that becomes 5 minus 6, which is minus 1 amps, that means i10, this current will be actually entering, so I will reverse the direction, so this will be actually in that direction, and that is becoming 1 amps there so that's good now we need to find Vs first so in order to do that let's apply KVL in this loop so if we do that first let's label all the voltage drops this is the current is going from the right to the left so drop is in that direction here current is going downwards so drop is in that direction so that's there now if we start from there we are going counterclockwise so Vs we can see that's a rise so let's write the rise as negative minus Vs then we can see the voltage drop across this 10 ohms voltage uh, 10 ohms resistance is it's a drop so that will be because plus to minus when we are tra traversing in that direction that's a drop so that will be 10 times 1 so plus 10 times 1 because current is 1 just ohms law and then this one also this voltage drop across 30 ohms when we are traversing in the counterclockwise direction that's a drop this is of course a drop but if we had gone had we gone uh, clockwise direction it would be a rise if we had gone this way anyway so this is a drop and that's 30 plus 30 times 2 because that's 2 ix um, actually that's just ix so that's 30 times 1 as well sorry 30 times 2 because ix is 2 sorry so that's times 2 equals to 0 that becomes vs is equal to 10 plus 60 so that's 70 volts so that's the value of vs now what's important here is we need to find the power uh, related to this voltage source and this current source now we can see that current is going in that direction in this source so whenever in a source if the source voltage is like that if the source was delivering power the current would go in that direction that direction in a resistance when it's a drop the current goes in that direction that's how it works now if current goes in that direction that means the source itself is absorbing power so it's not receiving power it's not uh, supplying power or delivering power it's absorbing power and so that will be P is equal to VI here V is 60 and I we know we don't know the I yet but the I will be this is again we have to apply KCL here we know that 4 amps is entering in that direction and 1 amps is going in that direction so I will just rewrite that 
node there so 4 amps is coming in that direction and then 1 amps is going in that direction and this is our source here which is 70 volts so this current is going downwards actually we have to first work that out whether it's going downwards or we can tell that this is going downwards because this is just 1 ampere there so it's 3 ampere is going that direction basically because sum of entering living currents I, I didn't write the equation but if I had written the equation that would be let's call this I70 IVS that would be uh, let's say we don't know yet which we don't know actually I just did that in my head so let's say the current is IS here so IS would be I think it's better to do it rather than uh, do, write the equation KCL equation in, uh, in the beginning when we are still learning and instead of trying to do it in head so yeah IS is entering and then 4 is also entering 4 amps there this is entering and this is leaving which is minus 1 sum is 0 that means IS plus 3 equals to 0 so IS is becoming minus 3 so the current is minus 3 amps so current is downwards actually so this is sorry this is 3 amps downwards and the voltage value is 70 so power absorbed by this one will be PVS will be 70 times 3 VI V times I that will be 210 watt so that's that will be the power now we need to see what is the voltage drop here if this was this current source if this is supplying a uh, power the current direction is upwards and voltage uh, polarity will be like this negative in the, in the bottom and positive at the top that's how it should be if it is delivering power if it is otherwise then it would be receiving power and we can see that this current is going downwards and there is no drop in this branch so this is going downwards 2 amps and this is 30 ohms so the drop here is 30 times 2 I know it's getting very clumsy but I hope uh, it's understandable so this is 60 volts drop across the 30 ohms resistance if I draw it here again that would be like this so if I draw just that part there is the remaining part there uh, sorry and then this this one so we are just thinking of this one which is 30 ohms and voltage drop is downwards which is 30 times 2 that's 60 volts so this is also like that 60 volts and the current is 5 amps upwards so this is delivering power supplying power this is supplying power so that's p i 5 amps if i write that power will be the voltage drop across it which is a rise actually it's not a drop because current is going upwards and polarity is also minus here plus at, in, in the top at the top so that is 60 times 5 which is 300 watt that is the power delivered by this source whereas for the voltage source it was power absorbed because polarity was like that which we found but the current was downward this was 70 volts and current was in that direction 3 amps so this is acting as a uh, it is a power sink it is uh, absorbing power